Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today, DxO updated PhotoLab 4.0 to 4.1. In this video, we're going to talk about what's new in this, the latest version of PhotoLab. Now, before I actually show you anything in the application, I just want to show you their press release and mention something they mentioned in their press release. It's that with the new Apple M1 chip, some processes in PhotoLab 4 now are three to five times faster. Specifically, when you do noise reduction with DxO Deep Prime, it's a lot faster if you happen to have an Apple computer with the new M1 chip. Again, I'm just bringing that up because they mention it in their press release. Also, they have an improved HSL tool, and I'm going to demonstrate that. And they have new camera support. They now have support for the Nikon Z6 II, the Sony A7C and A7S III, the Panasonic Lumix DC-S1H, and they have support for a drone, the DJI Mavic Air 2. So all that has been added to this, the latest version of PhotoLab, PhotoLab 4.1. Now, this HSL tool, um, it works like a conventional HSL tool, of course, where you could um, change the U saturation or luminance uh, value, HSL, of different colors in an image. But what they've done is they've enhanced it a bit. So it works better as like a color replacement. So you could actually replace a specific color. You could target a specific color or set of colors or a range of colors, I should say. And it will give you an overlay so you could see exactly what you're targeting. For example, I have this image here. And um, those of you that have watched my videos in the past, you probably remember I actually used this image when I demonstrated uh, their deep prime noise reduction. Here's the original RAW file. You can see all the noise there. And there it is with the deep prime uh, noise reduced. So it actually does a great job. Now back to the HSL uh, panel a little bit. Um, for this image, let's just say I want to change the hue of the background. So what I'll do is I'll just click on any of the colors. It doesn't matter which one you click because I'm going to use the eyedropper tool to pick the color I want to, uh, to work with. So I'm going to click on the eyedropper and I'm going to click on that background, all right? So we have a range of color now picked that I designated with that eyedropper. And I'll click on the eyedropper to turn that tool off. So now we have a range of colors. Now I don't want to affect the bird at all. A new feature is they added an overlay and really it's just kind of a black and white overlay and all you need to do is hold in the control key and then click on like the adjustment. Now even if you're a Mac user it's the control key. You know many times you hear me say you know command for Mac, control for PC. Well this is control for everything. So hold in the control uh, key I'll click on this little adjustment right there, and you could see that the bird, most of the bird, just a tiny bit of his beak there, but most of the bird is now black and white. It's a little bit of the background, the parts that I didn't, you know, really uh, target are black and white. So the black and white areas will not be affected by anything I do. So that kind of assures you that you are affecting the, uh, the colors, the hues that you want to affect. So I'll let go of everything and then I could take this and I could change the color of that background. You see how that's working? So that's a kind of a new uh, uh, tool giving you that overlay so you could change the color of something. But they also enhance the tool quite a bit too so it works uh, better. I'll click on that eyedropper again and I'm going to click right on the bird this time. And again, I'll hold in the control key on my Mac. It's control key on a PC as well. And now you can see that the background is turning black and white. That means I'm not going to be affecting the background at all. Now, I could change that color of that bird and make it crazy colors, right? So that's the enhanced HSL tool that is now in PhotoLab version 4.1. Now, if you already own PhotoLab 4.0, this is a free upgrade uh, to, let's put that you picker away, to get the upgrade, go up to, um, on a Mac, go to DxO PhotoLab 4, check for updates. And I believe that is probably under the edit menu on a PC. For those of you that own PhotoLab 4 on a PC, please uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. 
So this is a free upgrade if you already own PhotoLab 4. If you own a previous version of PhotoLab, there is, uh, there is reduced pricing. So I'll have links to everything in the description below this video. They also have a fully working free trial of PhotoLab 4 if you're interested in trying it out. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>